this shirt all the time. No, <laughs> just wear it for these. <clears throat> all right, make sure I'm properly situated here. Well, hi everybody to this informal mail call video, which I decided to try to be funny every once in a while. I put up some lights. Hopefully the lighting is a little bit better. Not exactly the most professional lights in the world. We're talking about like Lowe's 399 specials with incandescent fluorescent bulbs plugged into them. Um, anyways, hope you guys have had a good couple of weeks. I've got some new stuff in. Not a whole lot, but there is a box here from Tamiya and a couple from, uh, I believe, from Flyhawk, I want to say. So we'll take a look at those. Uh, some books and magazines have come in. So um, anything else I want to update before I just start openings? No, I don't think so. I think we'll just move right to it. It's been one of those weeks. Yesterday I spent the entire day shipping out packages. 14, 14 of them went out. So yeah, that was a, a bit of a record day. Um, trying to get the backlog backlogged here. Still dreaming of a day when I'll have a automated system to do all this stuff. Oh, automated, like online system. All right, so what have they sent us? Well, looks like they've sent us on a very, I mean, look at, look at this, it's, the, it's the Abrams obviously, but it's, it, I, <laughs> gonna have to cut the rest of the box open to get it open. Uh, so much for those customs forms. I don't need them. All that paperwork. Does anybody even look at them? Uh, a vertical box design, interesting. Uh, I suppose that probably would look interesting or different on a shelf. Um, this one has the uh, clear, mine clearing blade system. So this is the M1A2 SEP release with mine clearing blade system. This is the 172nd scale, obviously. Um, they do show quite a few different uh, marking options here in the back. Looks like we've got um, Captain America C Company, um, Beastmaster B Company, um, Six Armored Regiment, 4th Infantry, Iraq 2003. And another one in Iraq 2003, 67th Regiment, 4th Infantry is that same, same regiment. One's uh, both 3rd Battalion, so yeah. Um, so similar markings here and then a couple of different ones, although they don't look like, you know, they're just the, the barrel markings probably with the, the names on them. So um, let's take a quick peek. Always nice with the, the fly hot kits, you get the, whoop, you get the stuff that falls out because you were holding it at an angle, Jim. Don't hold it at an angle. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've got uh, generally a lot, of, a lot of nice stuffs in their kits. And you can see there's the, the tracks, which look like they're in two segments, like sides, two segmented sides. But yeah, we'll get a better look at it when we do uh, unboxing or send it off to someone for a review. Uh, let's go ahead and check the next one they sent us, which I'm going to guess is a ship by the length of the box. That is their niche lately, ships and tanks. Um, this one, will this one come out without... No, no, this one might need... No, it's going to come out. All right, good. So what do I have here in very, very wrapped bubble wrap? It is, with a couple of accessory pieces, the new uh, HMS Prince of Wales 1941 um, .12. 1941.12, is that supposed to be like the month? Like December? Obviously a lot of things were going on in wartime. So uh, for us, you know, we think about it in years, but for them, so much was happening probably in a month or even in a week. It was like, you know, that happened in... January of 1941 and this happened and you know they'd be able to remember probably you know what was that what was what um, This is uh, of course a 1 700 scale kit and uh, Does come with some bonus items in this particular box. So that probably makes it a It's a full hull deluxe edition. So this is the full hull release as well and then they've included probably a couple of or one of the accessory items which is the Prince of Wales masking set. Oh, actually, no, sorry, two items. And the masking set and the uh, decking. So the deck sheet, which is in a very, very nicely done wood, wood uh, laser cut. Um, and they have some even pictures on here for, for painting options and things. Well, painting? Generally, I guess you're showing the arrangement. 
yeah, how it goes on. Pretty, pretty obvious, should be pretty kind of obvious how it goes on. So I'm not sure the masking uh, pieces, what, oh, I see, to mask off the wood once you put it on, you don't want it to potentially get messed up with your painting, so you can mask off the wood. Um, and they're just gonna briefly open this one just to see if there's any, they have some, they include their nice artwork, which is nice on the inside. And then, like I said, this one has the deluxe pieces. So this one comes with the photo etch um, uh, for the Prince of Wales, as well as, well, the two photo etch sets, I guess. So there's quite a bit of photo etch included, railings and riggings and all sorts of things. And uh, then, of course, the kit itself, which looks fairly straightforward. I'll do have this, this little plot. Now, this one also includes the... Um, ventilating something maybe you can probably read that on camera better than i can read it and it looks like some kind of ventilation add-on uh, bits which probably are in very very small i don't know if they're in photo etch or they are we'll, we'll look sorry I, I may appear to be half asleep but i'm not i've actually been up for a while it is almost 12 o'clock as you can see uh, um boy trying to get these things open is a challenge as well all the challenges all the challenges are mine well, we'll save that for the unboxing then, because that's going to be it's going to be a pain in the butt to try to get open. So, uh, what else do we get? All right, we've got uh, a couple of magazines. Quickly do those, and then we'll get to whatever the new item from Tamiya is, which probably maybe some of the like they sent us the white box. I feel bad they sent us the white box uh, German assault uh, pioneer guy and Goliath team, but I still have it sitting here. I actually filmed the video, but. I got stalled on photo taking and we had many, many bad days of bad weather to try to take photos. So that's why I've set up lighting. Um, Steel Masters, number 155. So this is the um, French uh, magazine in, in, in French text anyways, but with always amazing uh, projects and history and, and uh, such. Quick little page through there on that one. And then we also got in, it looks like the latest issue of, I'm always gonna get, get this title wrong because there's so many similar titled magazines out there but this one is the uh, military model craft international uh so that was the uh obviously the british armor magazine been around for many 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 years and uh again lots of great little projects and reference photos and all sorts of stuff and that one that's issue uh for february the february issue all right let's let's see what tamia has sent us in this nice little box As I thought, at least one of them, anyways, is the uh, the actual production release of the German Assault Pioneer team. And this is still probably early, um, so I'll definitely follow through and get this one done now that we have the full production kit. And I'll go ahead and do the the review on it. It's obviously a very small kit, but it does you know include some nicely look like nicely laid out figures. And this is the uh, mine breaching slash. It has a couple different roles, but yeah. And then we have, it looks like a new auto automotive kit from them. The Ferrari SF70H uh, Formula One car, right? I assume Formula One. Again, I'm not, I'm not a big racing aficionado, but I'm going to guess that's a modern Formula One car. Um, so uh, this is obviously 1 24th scale? 120th scale. 120th scale. I thought it seemed a little small. Um, a little large, actually. That would be larger than 124th gym. Wake up. Um, <laughs> just, it's a very small box. I guess, I guess Formula One cars aren't that large. So, you know, relatively speaking, you've got, I'm trying to find the chassis here, but it's not really all in one piece. Ah, well, the floor plan, floor, floor pan, you know, reasonable size, but, um, and it looks like there's quite a bit of stuff included with this one. Red, red modeled uh, parts for, for the eventual parts you'd probably paint in red. And then of course the, uh, the very, very wide tires. And we'll try to get that one covered quickly as well. So I'm not gonna sit on that because I hate when I sit, sit on stuff that obviously we, we try to take action on the things that are like, you know, new, 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 you know, just, just hot off the presses from the, from the manufacturers. Uh, it's a bit harder to take action on something that, you know, has taken a while to come over on a boat and people modelers and people have already started you know building it and so forth I mean it's still still a new kit obviously but it's it's a little slight bit of a difference um 
That said, uh, we have sent off the Tamiya um, uh, 109 to um, Kevin. I think he's going to be doing a full review and potential build on that one. Still have a nice pile of books here to get through. Um, but otherwise, yes, I'm still doing a lot of some coding, and that's what I was mostly doing last week, which is why you didn't see me last week. Uh, although I think I was only sitting on maybe one of these kits, one of the, one of the fly hot boxes at that point. Um, all right, well, so if you're interested in any of these items for potential uh, future reviews or builds, you can, uh, if you know the routine here, we can, you can contact me through either the links uh, below or um, through publisher at kitmaker.net. Uh, generally speaking, for armor items, you, we go through our, our sample sheet, but for stuff like the, the uh, Tamiya Formula One car, uh, that would be me, and then the ships generally are Todd with uh, model ship rights, so he kind of handles all the the sample, design, the sample assignments, assignments, assignments. Yes, that's the best word I think. Um, so that uh, we have a couple of ships. In fact, I just sent them a bunch of stuff too that that I've been that I had had here, uh, but that's still on our model ship rights list. We are definitely looking for more ship builders, more ship reviewers. So if you're a ship person, yeah, yeah. If you're interested in doing stuff, definitely look us up. Sorry, I'm being kind of cagey with the camera this morning, probably because I'm like, I probably I showered yesterday. And, I'm not, trying. I'm, not, I'm not feeling my best. My voice is even kind of... I need some, need some drink some water or something. I uh, hope you guys have been doing good. Uh, things going fine over here. Just, again, just trying not to get buried. But I sent 14 packages off, so that, that kind of unburied me for a little bit. We'll, we'll have a bit, a bit of a respite there. Um, and uh, we will see you next time on Mail Call. <laughs>